Okay guys, new project. Um, this is a old wooden double sash window. Um, it has probably a dozen or more coats of paint on it and uh, this is one of the only windows that I did not completely strip all the paint off on uh, about 17, 18 years ago. And so the time has come. Uh, I did strip the paint off of the, the window facing here, but not the sash uh, itself. So that's what I have done. Uh, I've also taken all the old glazing out with the exception of this one area right here. And I thought I'd show you in stages how to rehab one of these old double wooden sash windows. Um, the, the storm window goes on front of it, but uh, I use a heat gun. And as I said, I've done this whole window uh, with the exception of two little spots. I was going to show you how I do it. The tools, pretty simple. The heat gun, I'll show you in a second. There's an old paintbrush I use as a dusting brush. Um, there's a putty knife with a pretty flexible blade, 5 of one tool. Um, this is a scraper I use to clean the windows. Um, and there is a sanding block. Uh, so I'm going to fire up the, the heat gun, remove this part right here, right along the paint itself. Uh, and there's one little strip of glazing putty that I may or may not be able to get out. I've got them all out except for two little places like that. And uh, in the window glazing video, I'll show you how I handle that. Uh, but I do have to replace uh, a pane of glass, which is right here. Um, and I'll show you how to do that as well. So let me fire up the heat gun and we'll get started. Uh, this is the old heat gun. I've had this thing probably 20 years. Works really well. I've got two of them. Um, but this is a, an old Wagner hot air gun. <clears throat> I use a 5 and one tool uh, to do this. There's so many coats of paint on this. Um, you have to do it fairly slowly in small sections kind of like eating an elephant. You got to do it a little along, right? So put the heat gun on it until it bubbles up really good like that. And then I just come along and scrape it off just like that. You don't want to get any of the wood with your scraper. But, uh, it's a slow process, and I've chosen a day that is not very hot, so unfortunately it's in the low 80s today, because this heat gun does get hot. Um, so as you can see, pretty straightforward process. Again, it just takes quite a bit of time, but you have to do it. When it has so many coats of paint on it, you paint over it, and you still have hairline cracks where the paint has cracked over the years and it just does not look good at all. So there was that part that I did. Now all you do here is do the same thing. Right. You heat it up. Let the heat gun do the work. No need to scrape it until the paint is soft. also not advisable to get your hand anywhere where that heat is, but it is hot. Alright, that's all of the paint. Now, as far as the glazing here goes, all the rest of it came out really easily. Um, I don't know, yeah, that one's starting to let go. Okay, so I just take the corner of it and you can heat it up it makes it a little easier um, most of it I got out pretty cold but 
You have to be careful. You don't want to break the glass. Uh, and these are old, old wood windows. Uh, this house was built in the 30s. So, as you can tell, there's quite a few coats of paint. So, that's the window glazing. It's all out. Now, what I do, turn that heat gun off, and I'll set it down. And with the paint off, I take this sanding block here. I take the coarse side first and just sand it on, sand it down. Uh, that gets it all prepared for the priming. As I said, I'm gonna have to replace this paint right here. Um, this one I'm not gonna have to. You can see there's paint on the glass. Uh, so all I do is take my razor and clean it all up. Uh, just do it at an angle. Doesn't take a whole lot of pressure. You have to begin to be careful, depending on how the window was put in. If you put much pressure on it, it may break the window. Um, this is secured by points. Uh, you probably can't see that one, the paint on it right there. Uh, but you just bend those up to keep the glass pane. And I don't think there's but like four to keep the whole pane in. There's one there, one there, one there, and it's supposed to be one in the top, but I don't see one. Uh, that's a minimum. Of course, the glazing itself will keep the window pane in, but um, four is a minimum. Uh, this wood is really, really hard. So uh, I really dread trying to put this glass pane back in because I'll have to force a point in and when you do that, uh, you're very likely to break the glass. But fortunately I have uh, a couple of boxes of sheet glass, uh, 32 by 40. Um, I use it for picture framing. So. I have glass and a glass cutter. Uh, or a glass cutting machine. Uh, so I just clean that window up. Uh, so all the paint is off it. Take my dusting brush, go over, get it all off. Uh, that that remains is on the inside. The inside is going to have to be scraped and cleaned as well. Then I just get all of the old paint, the sanding dust, get that all off. If you've got an air compressor nearby, you can just blow it off. I don't have one nearby, so I don't want to bring the portable one out because I don't need it really. So I just dust it off and uh, we will be good to go with the glazing and the glass replacement. Uh, so I'm gonna glaze all of the window except for this one pane that I replaced and then I'll show you how to do that. All right, hope it was helpful and I'll be back with stage two of the process.